Wow, what an excitement. Um, we were traveling down this road, this road right here. And unfortunately with the triangles, as you can see, the triangles, that we are totally broke down. Uh, we uh, found out that we actually blew a turbo. So I have my own tools with me, you know, thank God for that. And uh, so anyways, here's the turbo. I took the turbo out. These fins here are okay. And those fins are the ones that we have to be concerned about because those fins go, they come out through here and that goes into the engine. But our fins happen to be on the back half. So I think we're, I think we're okay in the engine part, but we definitely, the motor can't run without that. So, and I didn't want to take the chances of those other fins going because it literally broke the shaft right off. Like it sheared it right off the back. So that's what that fin, and that's what it's supposed to look like. But that's what it looks like now. So we're kind of stranded in the middle of Arizona. We decided to sell the farm and hit the road. We're on an adventure of a lifetime with our two horses, our two motorcycles, and our two dogs. I'm Rhonda, and this is Jay. We are Pleasure Ride RV. Hit the subscribe button to follow her on our next adventure. Now, the wife did go with somebody, and I think it's these people here. They're coming to pick up our horses and take them back to their farm so the horses can stay safe and uh, we can get them off the trailer. So, anyways, so we want to definitely appreciate this. And I think she likes the color of yellow. <laughs> so, and for you to know, this is the lady here. So, there you go. Yeah. So, so anyways, we're gonna, we're basically gonna switch from this horse trailer to that horse trailer. We're gonna load them up and uh, give them a safe place to stay for a few days so we can get this fixed up. So, all right, we're gonna go to another place, okay guys? So until we get it fixed up, that's, we're gonna leave the horses at this lady's place and uh, we really appreciate her hospitality. And we definitely appreciate everything she's doing for us. Right, Ben? That's right. We got a nice place for the horses? We do. All right. So, anyways, we're gonna- You said you're on hip camp, right? Yeah, they can find her on hip camp too. You can find her on What's hip camp? What's your um, ranch club? Ranch on the back of my truck it's right there. I already got a oh, picture. Oh, you got Close it? Okay. Close shot. Yeah. So anyways, you folks. Can you everything or do you want me to use the regular um, Anyways, folks, we're going we're gonna to switch the horses from our trailer to this trailer until, like I said, until we get the RV fixed up and then we'll go over to her place and pick them up. So we definitely want to give a shout out to her and we definitely appreciate it we've had a few people from the campground over here which they wouldn't allow us in there because of the horses but that's okay uh, but we've had a lot of people come from the campground and asking us if they need anything uh, I think it's just awesome how people come together so anyways we're gonna get these horses situated see you later so we're going from this trailer to this trailer I'm gonna go to a safe place to get them off the road and out of the trailer. So, yeah, here's the problem. This is all shredded. And that goes in. This here is supposed to be adjoined to that. That's supposed to be connected. But it sheared it right off. 
There's snipers on there. But yeah, she's, she's pretty mangled. So, and because of that, we also had to uh, take the, uh, we have to get the air to air rat out. So, pretty much got everything disconnected. But the rad that I need is right there. But I gotta get all this out in order to get this rad out. So I got a gentleman from this campsite here. He's uh, he's gonna come over and give us a hand of lifting that out because me and Rhonda can't do it ourselves. So so we'll see what happens. See if we can get it out. But that's the up the update. We got the bike and trailer so we can go get the parts. So, yeah, it's kind of a mess, but, but yeah, we're, we're almost in progress here. So, I want to see if, make sure that those pieces are still inside this red, and then, uh, hopefully, because that there connects to it, and it goes into the engine, it goes right into the engine, so. I'm hoping it didn't go in the engine because that'll be a real pickle then. But I think we might, I think we might be lucky. I don't know. We'll have to see once we get it out and apart. Anyways. So a nice gentleman named Joe came and helped us lift this out. This is our radiator. We have the air to air charger in the trailer. He's got to go take that in, get it steam cleaned. Boy, oh boy, this is uh, it's a nightmare come true. So now our next problem is, is we have to make sure that no pieces went into the engine. And they also have over here, I'm assuming is a propane filler. So they got propane here, uh, 350 a gallon. So you got propane here. You got all kinds of stuff going on here. You got garbage bins with right straight over there. Washers, men and women's. Now, the men's, it's, uh, they're both really nice showers. And, uh, but I think, by the sounds of the wife, there's more room in hers than there is in ours. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Very clean bathroom. So, pretty cool. Look at the view that you get way over there. That's cool. So what do you think? What do you get this campsite? I think it's a great place. But, you can't have horses. Yeah, you can't have horses. But you could, camp, huh? you could probably here and put the horses up the road, three roads up. Yeah, that's true. So we'll, we'll wait till we get back and we'll give you more detail on that one. Okay, we're going. All right, so we got the turbo back in. We got that all hooked up. Uh, we had to customize this piece because of the fact that uh, we were missing the piece off of our old turbo for that so this is just a temporary fix just so we can get out of here and uh, go to play go back to that Peterbilt dealership that we got the turbo from and see if we can get that part but this will work for now we got the ride back in we got uh, the hoses all hooked up over there and I think we're almost done here um, just gotta Okay, put the breather back in and hook it back up and then uh, top up the antifreeze and and then uh, put the show on the road so hopefully uh, everything's hooked up properly I'm not a licensed mechanic but 
I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was driving my bike. But anyways, um, we're on. We're pretty much settled up. Uh, I just want to thank the people from this campsite here for coming out and asking us to give a hand. I uh, really want to appreciate that. That was awesome. So, yeah, we're going to hit the road here. We got everything, the bikes and everything loaded up. So, yeah, this is purring like a kitten, running nice and smooth. And uh, I think we're out of here. But yeah, I do appreciate everybody. Jack, your buddy. He's up around to the front. Hey, Jack's open. He lives a tough life, that old boy. Yeah. Three corrals, a riding ring, and six. Three, actually, there's more. Six. There's uh, a round pen on there. Oh, a round pen. Plus, they have six box stalls with covers over them. She includes a pool. She has two RV spots here. <laughs> 